I'm gonna make this make this video because I'm trying not to come across as a heartless bastard. But um, like all of you guys, you know, I've I've cried my tears. I've had to accept that I was conned and that <laughs> my beliefs were in vain and idiotic. And now it's null and void. Uh, but I really, really need to emphasize: people need to find other things to do besides be on XJW Facebook groups. You know, looking. And waiting for a meme or some kind of comment to come out and so you can jump on board and say oh yeah we fucking hate those witnesses and bring the watchtower down and all this other stuff there's literally more to life than that and um, let me tell you what i've been doing with my life um, i've been going to a lot of philosophy meetups and which is a very interesting thing to witnesses because in witnesses you have the watchtower study and you don't get to answer with your thoughts. It's not like, okay, brother Cowan, um, what do you think about this scripture? No, you, you don't get that. You have the answer given to you. Um, I remember when I, you know, uh, my, uh, my husband at the time, you know, uh, was converted to being a Jehovah's Witness. And um, he, that was one of the first things he said was, this is not really a Bible discussion. This is pretty much, let's discuss what Watchtower is telling you. Uh, which is kind of funny to me. Um, and uh, so when you're in a philosophy meeting, like I was at last night, you know, we watch a great works, which is essentially a, a nice little seminar by a, a professor on a certain subject. Last night was on the uh, thoughts of the afterlife because we've been talking about evil and other things and other abstract ideas. And so you watch the professor talk about different, you know, theories from different philosophers and his breakdown. And then we have a discussion for two hours, two hours. And you have people like pretty much just giving their own personal beliefs, personal ideas, personal thoughts. And we're like collaborating and, you know, talking about different things and bringing to different conclusions. Uh, myself being an ENTP, I like to take little bits from everybody and then put it into one huge spider web that's all connected. And uh, it's, it's actually quite beneficial to me. Um, and so when people are spending all their time on Facebook, you know, waiting for something to happen and letting life pass, I mean, you already wasted your life already in the Jehovah's Witness faith. So why do you keep giving them power? You know, and, and there's a lot of heartbreaking stories about people trying to, oh, I want to wake up my mother, I miss my brothers, I miss my sisters, I miss my family. Odds are you're never going to see them again. Okay, so that shouldn't be your focus. It's like scratching lottery tickets. That's literally what you're doing, you know, and saying, oh, I, I, just, I just want to have money, so I'm going to keep scratching lottery tickets instead of, you know, getting education, getting a job, starting a business or something productive to make money. You're scratching lottery tickets. And so there are a lot of other people out there. You don't need to have your mother. You don't need to have your father. There are a lot of people out there. You can build, build new family. Um, there are a lot of meetups on a lot of different subjects, not just philosophy. So you're saying, well, I don't want to fucking talk about philosophy. That's boring. That's stupid. Let's talk about something more real. Yeah. Okay, well, you can go have a meetup about glitter. You know, you can have meetups about books, constructions, you know, um, any subject under the sun. You can meet people who are like-minded, have similar interests, and you can go enjoy their company. Um, there are plenty of, you know, circle talk groups and therapy groups and things like that to meet mature women, mature men who could replace your father or your mother. Um, uh, you know, there, there's really no reason to be stagnating, sitting around bitching, and then let alone bitching what extra drama's inside the extra Jewish community, as if that really matters. Like anybody is going to meet anybody on there. Uh, even even if you went to the Apostle Stock, for instance, and you're there that one day, it, are these really going to be your lifelong friends? No, they're not, because you're more likely not going to live in the same town. And so if you can't even keep your high school friends together, what makes you think you're going to keep XJW friends in, in close kinship type relationships? It just doesn't exist. Um, so <clears throat> those are my thoughts on meetups, finding something to do. Um, I enjoy philosophy. I enjoy abstract theory. And so I'm going to meetups, you know, with my boyfriend and 
we have these discussions, you know, with random people we meet. And, you know, and they actually live in the town I live in. So then we're also building friendships there, you know. And so, no, sitting on your computer waiting for some kind of, you know, clever meme about Watchtower isn't a healthy way, a productive way to, to spend your time. Um, if you've lost your family, which many of us, most of us have, you know, you got to make new family because scratching lottery tickets is not a productive way to make money. And so waiting on your family in a cult, brainwashed, brain damaged and trapped and trying to get them out is, it's a fool's errand. It's not something that's more than likely going to happen. It could. Okay. Uh, and more than likely you have family you've shunned, you know, go reach out to them. But no, Go find something to do, go to meetups, go to book clubs, go to construction club, knitting clubs, uh, dance clubs, I don't care, philosophy clubs. There's just all these different people out there. Go find them.